You can be surprised, but Office 2016 and Office 2019 is not supported anymore with the Microsoft 365. Since October last year, Microsoft ended support with two, two platforms in the area of working with the Office 365 apps. In this video, I will dig in how it could impact you, why it is surprising, and what you can do to move forward if you're using Microsoft 365. And as always at this point, I would like to ask you to support this channel. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you have any additional questions about licensing of the Office 365, leave the question in the comment section. I mentioned that you can be surprised that Microsoft end up the support for the Office 2016 and 19 in the area of working with the Microsoft 365 because extended support will be continued for the next two years. But because of the number of the applications, number of the versions and let's say the strategy to unify the model of the applications in the Outlook, in the Teams, Microsoft limiting the number of the supported apps that will be tested, will be validated and supported in the area of connecting to the Microsoft 365. So if your organization using Office 2016, Office 2019, these two platforms will be still supported for working on your PC or Mac, but applications like Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint will not be supported anymore in the area of the working with the Microsoft 365. And there could be two major impacts that you should take into consideration. One, probably some of the new features, new functionalities, improvements, will be not roll out to this platform. So if the new version of the Excel or Word will have new cool functionalities, changes, improvements, old versions of the Office, old versions of the Office suits will not be updated. And I can imagine that you can live with it. But there is one more thing that you should take into consideration in such a scenario. There is a risk that if there will be any security risk, security change in the area of using this Office Suite applications with the Microsoft 365 apps, this will not be improved in these two versions. Moreover, at some point, connectivity could be stopped and not work anymore with the Office 365 apps. This is not something that already happening, but in the longer period of time, you should take into consideration that elements like that could happen. And again, how this could be possible that there are still organizations using Office 2016 and 2019 with the Microsoft 365. So I imagine that organization bought box Office suits in the store, in the local vendor, deliver them to the at least part of the users in the organization, extend them with the Business Basic or Office 365 E1 subscriptions and mix that kind of setup to support the business users in the whole organization or in the part of the organization to maybe cut the cost or reuse the licenses that were already bought. But if you are the organization that fit to this scenario, you need to start to think about the future. And today I can say that there's no problems to working with these apps with the Office 365 applications, but there is really good chance that from security aspects or from the connectivity perspective, some elements could stop working in the future or this collaboration will not work anymore. You need to plan to move your users for the new licenses. One of the elements is the Office 2021, which is still supported. There's no roadmap for the next version of this app and the plans how Microsoft will continue to support any box on premise versions of the Office use for the PC or Mac. But alternative is move the users to the higher licenses like Microsoft 365 standard or Office 365 E3, 
or to buy Microsoft 365 apps for business or for enterprise. These subscriptions will provide you the fully supported versions of the Office suits that will be provided from the Office 365 directly. I prepared this video because many organizations still using Office 2016 and 19 and have no idea that these products will not be supported anymore in the collaboration with the Office 365 apps. I hope this video will clarify the situation for you. Again, plan your future, support, secure model of working with the cloud applications. I know this is the update from the last month of the last year, but I meet a lot of companies that have no idea about this change. And if you want to stay updated about the changes in the licensing of the Microsoft 365, check other videos on this channel that are covering these topics. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.